Well, food is a staple of all of our Milwaukee summertime festivals. It is pretty much the star during Festa, one of the many stars. Celebrity chef Maria Liberati is going to be at Festa this weekend, and she's yes. with us in studio this morning. Good morning to you. Yes, good morning. And I'd like to say good morning, Milwaukee. Thank you for having me again. It's always a pleasure being in You're Milwaukee. You're a return favorite yes, at Festa. Yes, I enjoy it, and, and it's a favorite. It's a favorite. Milwaukee's in my heart. I always say that because it's a really fun place for me to be, yes. Well, it's terrific, and you've been tempting our palate all morning by <laughs> getting this recipe ready. We're yes. making risotto with porcini mushrooms and truffles, so tell us what you're up to on the stove top. Yes, there. it's called risotti with porcini tartufata. Tartufata means truffles in Italian. I like and the way you say it much better, by the way. Tartufata, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had to start this early, as I explained, because risotto does take a little while to, to make. It takes about 18 to 20 minutes. So what I did was, when I got into the studio, I put about three tablespoons of olive oil in the pan, uh, chopped up some leeks you can do, chopped onions about, a tablespoon of chopped leeks, um, let that get nice and golden. Then I put in my rice, it's arborio or carnaroli rice for risotto. Um, and then actually before we uh, soak some por dried porcini mushrooms in some warm water. I so can you can do. see that. And uh, put some porcini mushrooms in the water and uh, some prosecco, which is my favorite ingredient, and then risotto. Yes. A lot of people like to cook with risotto at home. Do you have any recommendations in general for cooking with risotto to bring out the best flavor? Yes, well, when you do risotto, I know a lot of people think that they can just use any rice, but risotto is a creamy dish, and the trick to making creamy risotto is the type of rice that you use. So you should always use arborio or carnaroli rice, and you can find the name of that on the package. So, you know, always do that, always. Unfortunately, is it is a laborious dish, so you always have to tend to it, just as I'm doing, as you, and you have to make sure that you keep stirring and stirring the rice down. And the big question is, when do you know that it's done? Um, <laughs> well, the risotto should be al dente, which I was, somebody was asking me that yesterday at Festa. Al dente means to the tooth. Um, the way that you, you know that it's done is on every package that you buy, it does tell you the time that you should cook the risotto. Look at the time. Usually it's between 18 to 20 minutes. And that's mm -hmm. usually pretty accurate. That's usually okay. pretty accurate, yes. All right, Marie Liberati, we're going to have to leave it there. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for coming in to show us this risotto recipe. Here yes. is your cookbook. Yes. And you are down at the Festa Italiana Grounds I'll all at weekend. Festa, and they can find me at marieliberati.com. And my new PBS TV show will be on in December on PBS around the country. Well, I can tell you what, this smells delicious, and we don't <laughs> always say that. <laughs> uh, it's, it smells terrific. Thank you for coming to see You're us. You're welcome. Thank you. For more information on Maria Liberati, log on to our website, tmj4.com.